Hey folks, welcome to the show. Let's talk about the Battle of Florida from this year. It's yet another Battle of Florida in recent memory, and for the first time in recent memory, uh, the Panthers won it. They beat Tampa in five games. It's yet another Battle of Florida that ends too quickly because it was good hockey. Uh, and both teams played quite well, just one played better. And that is the story of the series and something I will repeat quite a bit. Quite, excuse me, quite a bit. Um, and, and it's very much true for the first three games. Uh, game one, Tampa plays very good. Florida plays better. They win 3 2. Game two, Tampa plays good. Florida plays better. Florida wins 3 2, this time in overtime. Game three, Florida, I mean, Tampa plays very good. Florida plays better. And they win 5 3. Game four, okay, this time Tampa plays good and better. They win 6 3. And then Florida decides they're done. And despite Tampa doing good in the shot department, they get destroyed six to one. <laughs> um, it just seemed whatever whatever Tampa could do, Florida did better. And uh, I will repeat that with all of these stats over here that I brought up. Tampa's 2.6 goals is a little low, but it's okay. Florida just did it better. Same with shooting. Tampa, 27 shots. That's, you can work with that, but Florida did better. Shooting percentage, for Tampa's 10.4 is very good. Well, above average, I should say. Florida did it better with 13.2. What high danger shots per game? Well, Tampa's 7.2 is nothing to scoff at. But Florida did it better. They had 10.2, which is quite a bit. And shot better <laughs> in high danger zones. Well, Tampa, they did block better. They had one more block than Florida during the series. So there's that. Tampa hit very well. They had 1.84 hits uh, per shot against. Florida did better. 1.94 hits per shot against. Well, face-off percentage. Tampa wasn't far off from 50%. Only at 49. Tampa did have four power play goals compared to Florida's three. But Tampa had 20 power play opportunities compared to Florida's 13. Florida had a better penalty kill. Um... It just seemed whatever Tampa could do, Florida did better. Even when it came down to their Russian goalies, Bobrovsky at points did better. Vasilevsky had a really good start, but eventually just kind of caught up with him. and he, he lost out, as did the rest of the Tampa Bay Lightning. So it was an admirable fight by the Tampa Bay Lightning, but ultimately the Florida Panthers, who were juggernauts throughout the regular season, will continue to be juggernauts through the postseason. Um, there's both storylines going... Uh, sorry, there's always storylines with going going for every team, but uh, for the Panthers, it's cup or bust, um, which is a very dangerous personality for both the Florida Panthers and the team they're going against. For for the teams they're going against, you know, nobody wants to cut more than the Panthers, and that will drive the Panthers to play better. But if the Panthers lose out on the cup, that personality, that mentality, I should say, could be detrimental, could come back to bite them could make them think no matter what we do, no matter how hard we try, we can't win the cup. Paul Maurice has been at this for decades. He's been a great coach for decades. And no cup to his name. Uh, Panthers haven't been a great team for decades, but they have been a great team for years, and they have no cup to their name either. So it, it is do or die for the Panthers, who have had a wonderful season and have started their playoffs very well by beating a, a rival in five games and they played excellent through it. I love their game. I love quite a few of their players. There's a player I can't I'm not a fan of, but that goes back to his days in Calgary, so I can't blame him too much. Um you, you know who I'm talking about. So that's the story with the Panthers. And then if they lose lose out on the cup, we'll talk about them then. But for now they're still in the playoff race and they'll play the winner. Actually when I recorded this video initially, I said they'll play the winner of Toronto and Boston. And then I had to re-record, and since then, Boston won. Which will be in a different video, and I'll save the jokes for that one. But, uh, so Florida will play Boston Bruins, who they did last year. Even though the Boston Bruins would... Well, I'll save this all for a video, but I'll, I'll say this. Even though the Boston Bruins would like to enact revenge for what happened last year, I don't think they have it in them. And I think most people think that way too. As for Tampa, well, this isn't it for them. Uh, it, it does feel like they are removed 
from their days as championship and cup contenders. But the core is still there. And with proper moves, the core uh, will have better complementary pieces and eventually parts of the core will have to be replaced. I'm talking about Stamkos and Hedman. They're uh, reaching their final years. Uh, they're, they're not there yet, but they're, they're getting close. And so I, I imagine that they'll be in Tampa for a long time. But at the same time, Tampa can't wait for them to retire to rebuild. They have Kucherov. They have Braden Point. They have Vasilevsky and Sergachev. And they don't want to waste those guys at all. And they have good complementary pieces there like Brandon Hagel and Anthony Sorelli. You don't want to waste those at, a, at all. You've already wasted a ton of draft picks on Tanner Janot, who, again, I really like in Tampa. It's just that was a lot of draft picks. Um, so, uh, I, I don't think Tampa's days of contending are done. I don't think we're, they're far from done. I think they will be back, uh, contending not just for the playoffs, but for the cup, but it will take some proper moves from Patrice Brisbois, the GM to make those moves and, uh, get Tampa back to what we all fear. And I, and again, I don't think they're far off, but that's it for me. I'd love to hear you down in the comment section below while you're there. How about leaving a like on the video? That's a huge help and bonus for me. I'd also very much appreciate it if you subscribe and turn on notifications. There's going to be more videos like these, uh, reviewing playoff series and previewing playoff series as well, talking about some of the trophy nominations that have been uh, released. And I hope to see you all there. But for now, have a good rest of your day, afternoon, night, or wherever you're at. Good night. Or, well, that's good night for me. So, whatever. Bye-bye for now.